This had been a carefully planned attack and one for which the IRA gang which carried it out would have lain in wait. The two Land Rover patrol with four soldiers in each vehicle had earlier left Valley Kindler UDR base en route to Downpatrick. The men did not patrol at a regular time each day. As they approached Downpatrick and within a few miles of the town, there was a massive explosion detonated by command wire from a hill overlooking the scene. The second of the Land Rovers took the full force of the blast, which also blew a huge crater in the road. The four soldiers in it died instantly. The leading vehicle was blown into a field, but the four occupants were not seriously hurt. Two cars being driven along the road at the time were damaged and one civilian suffered cuts and bruises. Wreckage was strewn over a wide area and police and forensic experts spent most of the day examining the scene. The police later examined a red motorcycle at the Flying Horse Estate in Downpatrick. They said that it may have been used in the attack. One of the first to visit the scene was the commander of the UDR, Brigadier Charles Ritchie. But I'm sure you'll all appreciate that having just come back from visiting the scene of a mass murder which took place this morning, my thoughts at this time are very much and exclusively for those families who have been so sadly bereaved, those who had their husbands murdered and their sons murdered. And my heart goes out to the wives, to the children, and to the parents of those soldiers who have been murdered today. The RUC say that a set of overalls was found on the road this morning, and while they were considering if the overalls had any significance, the bomb went off. This has been the worst incident for the UDR since four other soldiers were killed in County Tyrone in 1983, and for the British Army generally in Northern Ireland since eight soldiers died in the Ballygolly bus bomb in August 1988. Uh, the community in the town has totally been numbed by the situation. This Holocaust has been on Holy Week. Um, we have constantly rejected any violence and anyone using violence in our name and we will continue to reject it. Actions of this sort are wholly senseless in that they will not uh, deflect us from our intention to, to defend the community uh, against these evil men. It seems to me to be a peculiarly sad and deeply unchristian way to begin Holy Week.